This is the Archives. It is mainly used as a storage room for donated goods and equipment. Students rarely come here. Oh. A plaque from more than ten years ago? In honor of the Friendship Association's support. The representative's name is... Taro Date. Date. It's been a while. Sora told me you two would be coming. <sighs> I'm the one with ties to the Academy. I should be the one taking care of this. If only I defeated the Pact Bearer sooner. I'm sorry. Crush that maggot breath bastard for me, would you? Let us proceed. The mist is emanating from deeper within. It isn't as severe as it was at the old dormitory, but it's still fairly dense. It's evident Ryotaro didn't hesitate to use his power. Let us look for the call without delay. It seems this place too.
this is Rio Taro's ideal. It is quite lustrous, as if it isn't afraid to assert itself. How very like him. Legion. As I always say, I truly do not wish to hurt anyone else. But if I must, then I will. I apologize in advance. isn't enough. Be it power, knowledge, or anything else. I need to get stronger, but I don't have enough. The weak are meat, and the strong do eat. There are only those who take, and those who get taken from. I can't let anything else get taken from me. I have to protect everything that makes me who I am. This time, I have to be on the side that takes so I can get back everything taken from me. I'll leave my weaknesses behind, even if it means stealing everything from those who steal from me. Past, present, and future. I'll get stronger. I'll prove the worth of the life my mom loved. I'll reclaim the dreams and the pride my gramps passed down to me. I can't afford to give up. So this is Ryotaro's will. He wishes to showcase his worth and to take back what was his. He strives for strength and power, even if he must steal it from others. Agreed. It is the opposite of the safety and security I value. 
It is coarse and egotistical, a will at odds with itself. But strangely enough, I do not dislike it. It is quite dazzling to see him face things with such dogged tenacity. Did you know? The word tenacious originates from the Latin root for clinging, such that nothing can be taken from you. Ryotaro's tenacity is blindingly bright, especially for someone like me. I'm not as confident in myself. I was never anxious about being alone. I was simply relieved at the prospect of no longer being hurt, nor hurting another. But a future with you? Just the two of us in the other world together? The thought relieves me as well. But that isn't all. This may be crude of me to say, but it gives me this small, special sense of joy. But perhaps it isn't right for me to feel this way. If I may ask, do you regret your decision? Your decision to come to the other world with me. You still have time to reconsider. You said you wanted to stay with me because you'd be hurt if I wasn't here. That made me very happy. My heart wavered against all reason. That is why I didn't respond in the way that I should have. I am not worth your kindness. You do not know me very well. With that in mind... Would you like to hear the story of Kokoro Surugadai? Just know that after I tell you my tale, you may end up changing your mind about me. All right. I was a peculiar child. I struggled with language development skills. As a result, I wasn't able to speak until I was five. My mother was distressed at how different I was from other children. When I finally learned to speak, she gave me all sorts of books to read. Her praise encouraged me, so I ended up reading them all. Thanks to her, my level of intelligence was equal to that of a high school student by my early elementary years. I more or less scored perfectly on tests when I was in middle school, the SATs included. Many people began calling me special, and my mother was happy for me at first. But in time, she grew even more distressed. A gifted child should have a gifting mother, one who invests time and money in their education. She wanted to live as her own person, but she couldn't do that while she was my mother. So she decided to stop being my mother. She no longer wanted to be a family. My mother left. My father didn't take it very well. I was in elementary school at the time, and more awkward than I am now. It wasn't just my parents I caused problems for. During class, I would point out the mistakes my teachers made. It upset them. I was scolded often for not taking notes, or for not using mathematical formulas in the order I'd been taught. A classmate who extended their hand in friendship became a target of bullying. They cried because of me. Those days... were full of suffering. <sighs> I hurt the people around me. I made them uncomfortable. They hated me for it. And that, in turn, hurt me.
hurt me back. I wasn't able to pick up on social cues, so I could never quite fit in either. I hated myself, so to escape the cycle of pain, I lost myself to the worlds inside my books and avoided reality. I don't remember when exactly, but I once said that I obtained my authority to sate my boredom. That was a lie. I made my pact because I wanted to find a way to avoid hurting anyone and to avoid being hurt. That way, even someone like me could understand others and live beside them in safety and security. I selfishly wished for something I didn't earn. But even after acquiring this power, all it can tell me is how to be safe and secure. With it, I am little more than an inorganic being following a script. A fabrication that doesn't meddle in affairs of the heart. An observer viewing the world from behind a glass screen. It is a vacant existence. I continue to read in solitude. I continue to avoid people. Moreover, my foolish wish was partially responsible for Chio's death. Because of that, I feel empty inside. There is only pain, guilt, and the feeling of suffocation. I am not ready to live as part of the world, but I'm not ready to part with it either. This is the cowardly reason I wanted to isolate myself within the other world. I wanted power for what was important to me. I can't face my problems head on like you or Rio Taro. The strength that both of you possess, it's blinding. All I do is run away. I am pathetic and weak, a selfish nuisance to others. This is who I am, the Pact Bearer of Sloth. We should make our way to the Archives. I ask that you reconsider your decision on the way there. There is no need for you to tie your fate to mine.
He isn't here. It was the same with all the other Pact Bearers. He will not show up until the final ideal. Incidentally... I would like to hear your answer after this fight is over. We have postponed it long enough. It's all right if you reconsider. I can fight Ryotaro alone. Give it some thought. Oh, 
Kokoro. An inevitable outcome. 